Welcome back, everybody. Eddie Soundhead returning once again to Soundhead Entertainment at long last and with some good old-fashioned NASCAR Racing 2003 season up the sleeve. Updated to 2022, of course, with the race-accurate next-gen car set. And what we're going to do here today is go back a few weeks to Talladega. Now, I've been wanting to get this video out way sooner than when it will probably drop, and I sincerely apologize to all of you for that. But trust me when I say NR has been absolutely bullying my PC with bugs. If you know anything about trying to play this game on a modern system, especially with NVIDIA hardware and drivers, it seems, sometimes a literal void of graphical destruction will come and try to snatch your soul out from within the game. Now, thankfully, I think I've found a workaround for that, so that shouldn't be a problem for us here today. And I guess you could say we're finally ready to go. And go we will, because this racing package has been tuned in the settings to be just the way I want it. We've got unrestricted engines out here, so you might see a car flying through the air at 220 miles an hour before the end of the day, and that's fine as long as we complete our challenge, which is once again, Again, to rewrite a little history we're gonna jump in the 43 of eric jones drive that thing from the back to the front and try not to get punked on the last lap and with a salute from the flag man we cross the line to begin attempt number one they're already beginning to check up in turn one here that didn't take them long and i'm i was willing to go up the middle if the middle wants to go the middle doesn't want to go so now we got to go four wide middle which is great around gregson in the wendy's mobile already the biggie bag a bag of damn rocks more like it he's way back there already we just blitzed half the field already i guess that's to be expected when you're driving a car that led like half the race and you're starting with all the stooges ball oh, and i almost just wrecked the 78 that might become a familiar sight nice and formed up now giving him that push oh and we almost killed him it is way too tempting to push in the corners for the disaster it could cause like custer almost saw feeding america i'm about to feed the wall his car if we keep that up for much longer and I said, I got my ally up here, and I'm trying to get past Custer, but instead he's going to force me three wide. We got a little lane up here. There's a little baby third lane up there going to drag me up. Come on, drag me up. There might not be enough force behind that one yet. Or at least let me in, Custer, if you're not going to. You're just going to hang me out here. All this three wide up here definitely gives me some pucker factor, but I don't even know if they're capable of wrecking themselves without my help like this. Like that. <laughs> like exactly like that. <laughs> they go on command. Oh, I am a horrible human for that one. I drove right by. That is a lot of skid marks. So we might be adding some more here if we're not careful with Lagano. Oh, leaning on that quarter panel. Almost took him out. Hey, we already wrecked William Byron today. <laughs> Why don't we complete the Darlington set and get Lagano while we're at it? I'm going to get this high line while I'm at it. Sorry, whoever that is in the 16 this week. No wonder dog winners for calling today. And I found my teammate. I found Ty. Come on, Ty. Huah. Take the push. Take it. This is petty GMS versus the world right here. This is us versus the whole ass roster. Let's take it. And I, Jesus, I almost wreck into every single corner. That's going to catch me out one of these days. Come on, Ty. Let's go. This, this might literally be an unstoppable force right here. Me and Ty. Ty and I, if you will. This is the most efficient tandem draft team you've ever seen in your whole life. We're bringing it back. Like 10 years later, we're bringing it back until he hangs me out to dry and I got to get up in the bubble of the three car. Come on, Ty, I thought we had something nice going here. Let's keep it moving. Don't go outside. Don't go outside. Don't make me go outside. We're going to get we're going to get steamrolled now. Hey, Ty, you have you've screwed us, Ty. Ty, look what you did. We had such a good thing going there. We were going to win this all on our own. Oh, I killed the three and I killed Ty. I just took out the Dillon brothers with one move. We got two birds stoned at once. Can we appreciate this absolute meme of a top five, by the way? Shout out to Daytona 500 champion Michael McDowell. My dumbass. Greg Biffle, the Biff in the 44 machine, which I'm pretty sure has the same engine as a Little Tykes car inside of it. And then up here, we have Ryan Blaney leading, getting pushed by his old car. I thought Ty and I were a dynamic duo. I didn't realize we had the Penske power up here pummeling the entire field. Come on, McDowell, give me the push to the front, buddy. That's the kind of help I'm looking for. There we go. I don't want to be behind the 21 anyway. I would have pushed him the wrong way and flipped him over just like Brad Keselowski, and then I'm going to get beat up on Twitter. I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. Come on. The 12's leaving the door wide open, McDowell. Give me that push, baby. I got a side draft. Oh, I got too much side draft on him. Damn it. That was... Oh, and I took the Biff and Cindrix upside down. Barrel rolling down the line, and we got no brakes in the state of Alabama right now. What are you morons doing? This just became a damn marker race. Oh, 
my god, another one! This is not necessary. This is an outrageous crash. And look at poor Blaney over there on his lid, all because I had to side draft. Damn it! All of this caused by a side draft gone horribly wrong. And how could we not look at the replays of this? Of course, we got free cam back on the clock working for us. We got the two barrel roll and we got a second strike from a second pack. We'll run it back from the second angle down the track here. The two barrel rolling over top of the 12 and then the second pack comes through, cleans us all out. The A car flipping over into the inside wall and then bouncing all the way back to the track just in time for a third pack to come through and clean us out even worse. Bowman with a heinous accident. Poor Blaney he catches a hell of a beating right at the end of this. So it turns out I'm not the side draft king and here is proof you saw the wheel ever so slightly go right. I feel like Larry Mack looking at Carl Edwards. You saw those whack loves turn to the right. I turned it just enough to the right. Caused an absolute disgrace of an accident. And oh, by the way, this wreck is barely even halfway over. It's the long one at Talladega, literally Talladega night style, flying through the air. Cue the Applebee's commercial once again. That, that We might as well just have that thing on uh, hotkey at this point because it is absolutely ridiculous. And we parked it right next to Cindric. How cute. We might just sit here looking at replays for a minute because I want to check this out. I, first of all, Ryan Blaney had a horrible experience. He went from leading the race to turn around with an Indiana Jones boulder chasing him in the form of Cindric which he then gets to view spinning like a top after he missed the entirety of the second strike only to then single out Cindric, I guess because he flew over his head earlier. I don't know why, but that lines us up perfectly for that third strike and part two of the strike absolutely takes Blaney to the cleaners and just lands him on his roof. You even saw a little flash of heaven there for a second. All right, last replay. I swear on my life, but I have to see Cindric's point of view in all this. He just mind his own business. He goes flipping sky ground, sky ground, Blaney ground. Ground sky, ground sky. Now we're spinning like a top. This is an ideal. You need a sick bag in the car for this. If this is what the experience is like. This was not in the job description. And he lands on the wheels only to get smoked like a half a second later. And look at this. He's got a real front row seat for that third pack down there. Oh my God. The scrubs back here actually staying the gas on the start. Now I gotta do all this passing the hard way. This kind of sucks. Although I guess you can barely call this the hard way when we're getting up here like this. Shout out to Gregson and the Wendy's won't be able to get one on Saturday when I was in Degan did a burnout like five feet from me. It was awesome. All right, I'm sorry, Greg. I got to hang you out to dry here. You go in absolutely nowhere. But that burnout you did was sick at Degan. I swear to God on my life. I was standing right at the pit wall and they didn't show it on TV. There you go. Another lap down as well as about half the field. And Kyle Busch with the Kyle Busch clear job of a lifetime right there. I didn't give you permission to get down here. Get the hell back up. No, 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 damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you gotta be, oh, he's flipping back there. And I'm flipping, oh my God. My neck. That just gave me stage five whiplash. Look at my car just scraping along the ground. I look like I'm about to go back to 1955. And the way I hit this wall, I might wake up there. And <laughs> that wasn't even the bad one. This is the bad one right here. Oh, head, meet pelvis. Brad, help me. <laughs> help me get away from these. Oh, I almost just, I almost just Elliot Sadler'd myself right in the same spot. <laughs> now this is a tag team right here. Friendship with Ty ended, discarded, thrown out the window like trash. Oh, I almost got rid of Brad too, didn't mean it. I am so sorry, sir, please come back to me. All right, Brad, we're gonna show him how to do it. Oh, he's got the right idea. He almost did it himself. Come on. Everybody's checking up up here and giving us a chance. Yes, yes. Perfect move. Did they actually take Brad's real life, like God tier restricted play driving and put it in this AI? Yes, come on, Brad, here we go. The push. We are gonna have them pissed off at you today. It's gonna be 2014 Brad's coming back today, damn it. Back when he could actually win here and back when like eight dudes wanted to fight him at once. Oh, Custer's really really laying it oh come on Custer you gotta get out of the way you gotta come up so we can go down I'm wrecking Brad this is I gotta get in front of the booth no what the hell my car went straight I tried to stick off the biff and my car went straight to the wall no, that was going so well. Now you dudes are going to want to fight me. Damn it. And this is why you either complete the block or don't even try at all. That looked horrible. That wreck looks so bad. That that looked like another wreck I've seen before that I don't even want to reference. It was that bad. That the wrong track, thankfully. Look at my poor car. Up the middle, maybe? Oh, I almost just killed Stenhouse going for the middle lane right there. <laughs> 
That's Sunny D almost got a lot less sunny right there. We're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna leave it in this middle lane here too. It seems to be working. As long as Blaney's not gonna make me fall. Oh, 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 I made myself four wide and I almost made myself a uh, pancake. Oh my, I knew it. I knew one of these days that scraping was gonna wreck me and it almost did. Thank God it was Blaney who hosed me. Big push coming for you, Haley. If you wanna hold your line, maybe we could get some progress going or not. Helps a lot if you hold your line and don't kill us all unless I do. Oh my good God in heaven. We just cost Justin Haley to have a 500 G minimum wreck. Minimum. Someone start playing taps on a trumpet or something because I think we just took the 31. Oh, that looked a lot worse in real time. All right, this is driver's side. Let's crank it up and listen. Oh, and then back into traffic again too. That did not seem or sound pleasant at all right in that driver's door and probably the worst wall you could hit at speed. My bad. See Suarez down there swinging the middle lane. Oh man, I, <laughs> I helped Briscoe hit the wall there, my bad. Look at Suarez all up in Reddick's bubble right here. We'll get you by him. Oh no, we won't. That was a bad push. Real bad touch right there. Why do I take out Suarez like once per episode? All right, Brad, if you want to do this, we got to get low before Kyle gets there. Now look what you've done. Are you proud of yourself? Look what you've caused. Now I gotta bully Kyle out of the damn way and get in front of the Wendy's mobile. For it. Oh, I didn't do it. I killed him. Actual rip Kyle Bush. We just put him head first in the wall up and over. And they're running back into the pack. And that's Ross Chastain doing a little melon smashing once again. All right, please don't crash on me game. I want to see how close I was to being clear. Not even close at all. <laughs> Actually, as it turns out, not even remotely close by any definition and not only did we take out my favorite driver in brad but we got kyle and we got our other partner in crime ty too i want to see this onboard of kyle bush just to see that indeed he was an absolute victim just went from driving straight to upside down within seconds and transported to heaven directly as well by the looks of things a giant white light smacking you right in the face and that's not even the worst part wait till ross chastain comes by and treat you like one of his melons. So now we're gonna have to have the track cleanup crew come scrape Kyle Busch off the ground. Bowman probably is gonna hate me though for breaking up this little power couple. We got someone blowing up up there. We got some smoke. Oh, we're checking up. Get oh God damn. That was bad. I might be trash. <laughs> I might belong to the garbage can. I don't even know what just happened there. Well, here you have it. It was Christopher Bell, the pole sitter. That was the culprit behind the blown engine. And that causes, you saw what happened to me. How about this? It causes a totally separate incident that sends Harrison Burton over the top of Cody, where we knew he was going to be going over at some point today. Uh, if you guys are going to leave the bottom, this wide ass open, I'm going to take it. I'm going to do it. I got, oh, with the checkup on the straightaway. What, we got another one up here blowing up? We do. Reddick with a problem on the inside. Oh my God. Oh my lord, we almost just pancaked the IHOP car. All right, with that, we're pretty much packed up again here. So that near-death experience, I will consider a net positive. We even managed to get ourselves back on the bumper of Ty. Starting to get spicy, starting to get a little three wide here. Oh, take him, Ty, do it. Do it. That's not like the Emperor, do it. Take him three wide, you legend. I can't even get there to help you. Just do it on your own, you hero. Oh, I love Ty. That was, that was magnificent. We're in the perfect spot here on the bottom. Stay there this time, please. Thank you. We could win this. A lot of time to go, too. We could set this up to be a beautiful thing right here. If I could actually get to the bumper of Ty, that would be a little bit nice. I'm sure he would appreciate the help right about now if I could survive the scrape. This is a hell of a top five right now, too. This is stacked. We've got the Daytona 500 champion, Cindric. We got... Talladega winner previous, Bubba Wallace. We got NASCAR champion Joey Logano, and then on the inside, you got Xfinity champion Eric Jones, and then a guy that won a stage in a Germain racing car one time going for the lead. Oh my God. He beat Clint Boyer for that, too, I want to believe. I'm not misremembering that. He's, he's leaving me out to dry. He's going to pick up Logano after all of that. Wow, dude. I see how it is. Look at you now, Ty. Look at you now. You feel good about that move now? Real great decision maker you are, and because I'm not a sack of trash, when I'm done blocking both of these lanes, I might even help you. Because what do I do? I learn nothing, apparently. I, I learn nothing from... Pre and we're on the outside, too, which I'm sure... If he leaves me out to dry right here, it's over for me. And, and are you kidding? Ooh. All right. Friendship with Ty Dillon is over. Come on. 
Come on, just let me clear Logano. That's all I need, yes. Oh, Ty. Ty, Ty, Ty. You've made a bad enemy, my friend. Well, this is as good a time as ever to act on the plan. Here we go, halfway down the back stretch. Let's get that run formed up as best we can. I got basically no drafting help. But we'll try to get to that quarter panel on the inside here in three and four. He's gonna give me the whole lane. Side by side out of four. Suarez is leaving me no help from Suarez. And I guess that's actually probably understandable at this point. But come on, Hamlin. Hamlin, give me the push, maybe. Here we go, big ground gain. Big ground gain right here, right to the line. Come on. No, oh my God, no. Oh my God, how? Zero, zero point zero zero is how. Ty, you, you sack of shit. Are you, yeah, they suck on that. You too, Hamlin, where was the push? When I needed it. I, I, oh man, how am I literally gonna lose by nothing? I almost don't even wanna see replays of this, but we're about to get the very cruel answers I don't think I even desire. It's so close, even in slow-mo. Oh, I am gonna be sick looking at this. This is not fair. Oh, come on. We need some more digits in NR2003. <laughs> That's a lot more than nothing. I know who my boys are and who my help is. The hell with you, Suarez. You want the war? You got one. You know, damn it, Henry, get off. God damn it. I can't do anything out here. I'm getting run over by the entire field now that I may have pulled out in front of, but we're going to ignore that little factoid. And I'm still getting it. God forbid we find those breaks an hour later. We still can't find them. So the replay will reveal all, as you can see, in an effort to hang Suarez out, we just get glued to the side of Hemrick, and then I barely pull down enough in front of Blaine to get wrecked. It's so close. If I would have held it up like another foot and not touch Blaine, we probably could have kept going. We would have lost a ton of ground, but we would not have wrecked. Hex yourself right out of the way. Envision yourself moving out of the line so I can get by. Excuse me, pardon me if we could please, or not hang on to it. We're not hanging on to it. That is the wall. And this is going to be another wall right here. That's every side of this car banged up within like 20 seconds. So that's cool. I know what I'm doing with this run. I don't, I, I don't even remember the last time we did one of these, but it, it's long overdue. Here they come. Oh, boy. This is good. This is about to get real ugly right here. And there goes Christopher Bell into the shadow realm. And I'm in the spin cycle flipping and flying over a three tiered ass pack. I think I just saw with Chase Elliott in the middle. What a sight and I'm just dead on my own head here. Oh, you've heard of the big one. How about the rather large one? This is a king size crash if there ever was one. Look at it, we got cars wrecking and crash from wall to wall at Talladega and they're still tumbling all over the place. Tyler Reddick way down there in the corner getting after it still as they slowly evaporate into dust. Here we go, hold on to something because this is about to get ugly. Could you imagine this with like VR of some kind? That would be insane. And the white lights of heaven are poking in again. What happened to Bellier has to be appreciated from his eyes just hung up like fine art. And I guess he's just gonna hang out here forever now. This is his new home. There's nothing going on in this middle lane. Oh man, I almost made something start going on there. Excuse me, pardon me. I was headed right for that nasty wall too. Oh, I got Busher on the bumper. I hooked him. We're, God, this is just getting sad at this point. I can't even get off the first lap anymore. I'm getting worse. I am actively getting worse and I can't even get away from the wreck. We were almost through that and I packed Cody Ware up again. I don't even know if it's physically possible to get a run going on the outside in this game. It sure doesn't feel like it, but I'll push Cindric to another plate when if I have to or to the wall. One of the two, why are we backing out of it in the car? I know I'm pushing in the corners and everything. But come on, hold the line, please, man. We do not need to be three wide. Why you do this? Why? I beg for an answer, and I gotta get in front of Brad, I can't do it. About to kill the spell, try it. Oh, here we go, come on. Let me in, Brad, let me in! Oh, no! Oh, we're flying! And we're flipping! That is a hellacious accident right there. I'm gonna call that a blow over. We didn't go all the way over, but I sure hit my roof. Oh, thank you for that little spin out there, 77. That is greatly appreciated. And another one, the Spire attack is on. That is a soul crusher right there. We're toast. Well, how fitting is it that the first car to fly today is our own Air Force car, and that is a sickening blow right there to William Byron to twist us back up over on the wall. This ought to be a hell of a view from the roof cam that is about to become a drone cam as we're backwards and up, pointed straight at the ground, and then 
back to the sky ground sky ground treatment up on top of the safer barrier up in the fence right by ross chastain getting dumped by the 77 and then just up on the banking enough to get one last hit from Corey LaJoy in the seven surprise cobbler didn't take one last one out of us either i refuse to give ty dylan any help I, i'm just gonna hang him out i'm gonna stick it all the way underneath i like four wide Oh, I think he, ooh, I wonder how close we just came to turning Brad right there. It must have been pretty close. Sorry, Brad. I'll leave you alone this time. Please don't send me on any more Space Force missions. I'm going to try to get up in front of McDowell off the corner for this run right here. Come on. All right. Now where do we go? Middle? Actually, that's the only choice I got here. I would really like to clear Briscoe by the time we get to the corner if we could please. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That is as close as it gets. He's pushing me up the track, this guy. That is about as tight as you can. I'm blocking the hell out of him, too. I don't give a damn. That is, like, as tight as you can squeeze in there without wrecking like I already have multiple times today. And I'm pulling in behind Suarez again, dude. This could get tragic at any moment now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Bold strategy, Suarez. Very bold strategy. I don't think, oh, well, I was going to say nobody's going to help you up there, and then everybody went up there. Let's go ahead and keep it down here. I'll take the free spot. I actually appreciate being ahead of Suarez now. Fitting that Hemrick's the one I got to take it from. I've already put him in a body bag once today. There's a nice little bumper shot. Push him up the track. Get underneath Cole Custer. Do the right thing. Give me a push. Even if it's an air push, I will take it. Any little bit helps like the bottom lane is kind of right now, and that is how you do it. Through to the lead we go with, what, four laps to go? Now we just got to do some blocking. These absolute rats, they're setting me up like they would in real life. They let me get way too far out in front, and now they just formed a line up, and now they're going to freight train power surge by me on the outside nonetheless. Led by a Spire Motorsports entry in Corey LaJoy. Martin Truex Jr. has nothing to say about this. He can't do a thing. I got to get up in Emmerich's business here. I got to get involved in this. I got to get behind this thing somehow. Get the hell off of me. Back to a 1v1v1 we go here. And I'm pushing in the corners now. Oh, maybe I shouldn't push in the corners. It might be too early. Actually, that might have helped him out. That just gave him a lane. There we go. Side by side for the lead. You guys do that. While we get formed up back here or something, what do we get? Okay, inside line's going now, of course. Come on, Harvick. Please, Harvick, let me in. White flag, don't wreck me now. One more lap to go, and that barely just worked, and that is going to get me to the lead somehow. It shouldn't have. That should not have worked, and I don't even really know where to be now. There's three lines here to think about. I'm just going to side suck on Truex. I don't know what else to do. I got to get in his face. I got to get in his business now push him up the track a little bit that should give us the advantage on the inside i gotta block at least two lanes down here maybe three if i can get by truex harvick's gonna probably be our biggest thing to worry about oh i he is just barely there i don't even know if i'm clear or not i would do it but i don't want to wreck myself he's got the inside line please dig i am asking for some help here let me get to that line yes yes i could visibly tell that time Oh, I will not be denied. I finally, finally made it through there. That was an ugly last lap. I put that car just about everywhere you're not supposed to, but we still got it done. I can't believe it. we actually kind of finished that like the real Eric Jones should have. Oh, that was still close. And this one will really lay it out there on the line. Literally, we win by about a front bumper and a half a wheel. The day of racing we just had here today perfectly encapsulates why I love Talladega. We had it all. We had close, no room for error racing, many, many scary little close moments. Some error caused big ones, even took flight at one point. And of course, the crazy finishes, one of which burned us, but the other one leaves us doing donuts as Eric Jones. Would have liked to see that in real life, but you can't be mad at Ross Chastain, can you? You take what you get at Talladega. Thank you all so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoy. You know what to do if you enjoyed. Hit that like button and subscribe. Hit the comments down below with suggestions. I promise it won't take me three weeks to upload another video. Sorry about that. You know, I got to commit algorithm suicide at least once a year now just to keep yourself humble. You got to do it. I certainly told me to, though. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Have a marvelous day. Peace.